Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two identical uh, semicircles and this uh, blue circle fully confined uh, in a square A, B, C, D as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, uh, these uh, two semicircles and this uh, blue circles are tangent to each other as well. And furthermore, uh, the area of this uh, blue circle is uh, pi centimeter square with the center O and the center for these uh, semicircles are P and Q. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, square A, B, C, D. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan since we are interested in calculating the area of this square A, B, C, D. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area equals to S square where S represents the side length of the square. So therefore we must calculate the side length of this square first. And now let's focus on these two identical semicircles. And we can see that this uh, AP is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. So I'm going to call this radius lowercase r. Likewise, this is going to be lowercase r. Likewise, this is a lowercase r. And finally, lowercase uh, r radius uh, as well. So therefore, the side length uh, AB of this uh, square is going to be, we are going to add uh, these uh, radii that's going to give us uh, 4 times r. So thus the side length uh, of this uh, square turns out to be 4 times uh, r, where r is the radius uh, of these uh, semicircles. And here's our next step. We know the area of this uh, blue circle has been given to us as a pi centimeter square. And let's assume the radius of this uh, blue circle is uppercase r. And now we are going to find the value of this uh, radius and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square where r is the radius of this uh, blue circle and in our case uh, the area of this blue circle is pi so therefore i can equate uh, pi r square equals to pi and now let's divide both sides by pi this pi and pi is gone so therefore radius r square turns out to be equal to 1. Let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking square root on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore our radius uh, uppercase r turns out to be positive 1 centimeter. So therefore the radius uh, of this uh, blue circle turns out to be 1. And now in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this uh, point uh, n with this uh, point uh, m where m and n are the midpoints. And this line uh, passes through this center O. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees, as you can see in this uh, given uh, diagram. So therefore, in our case, uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees, since this is our radius uh, and this is our tangent line. And since this is our 90 degree angle, so therefore, uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees uh, as well since we are dealing with this uh, square. And now let's make an observation. We know the side length uh, of this uh, square is uh, 4 times r. So therefore uh, this side length is going to be 4 times r, 4 times r and 4 times r as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, radius of this uh, blue circle is uh, 1. And moreover, this uh, whole uh, length uh, MN is equal to this uh, side length uh, BC. If this is 4R, then this is going to be 4 times R as well. So therefore, we can see that this length uh, OM is going to be 4R minus uh, this uh, 1 over here. And now in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, center P. And now let's recall this uh, crucial fact. The centers and the point of contact uh, are uh, collinear. So therefore, uh, these centers uh, OP and their uh, point of contact uh, 
over here they lie on the very same line and now let's make an observation we know that this is the radius of this uh, blue circle and the radius is uh, 1 whereas this is the radius of this uh, yellow semicircle which is our uh, lowercase r so therefore this whole uh, length uh, op is going to be r plus 1 so i can write this thing uh, r plus 1 and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, omp whose uh, side lengths are lowercase r r plus 1 and uh, 4 r uh, minus 1 so therefore we are going to apply the Pythagorean uh, theorem to find the value of this uh, radius r and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square where our longest leg uh, is uh, r plus 1 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in the Pythagorean uh, formula in our case uh, a is uh, r square plus uh, b is 4 r minus 1 whole square equal to our longest leg is r plus 1 whole square so let's go ahead and simplify i'm going to write down r square plus and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it on this binomial on the left hand side so therefore we're going to have uh, 16 uh, r square minus 8 uh, times r plus 1 equals to and now let's recall another identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it uh, on the right hand side so therefore this is going to give us uh, r square plus uh, 2 times r plus uh, 1 and now we can see this r square is gone with this uh, r square likewise this one cancels out with this uh, one let's go ahead and subtract uh, 2 r from both sides this is gone so therefore we got uh, 16 uh, r square minus uh, 10 r uh, turns out to be equal to 0 and now we can see that these uh, terms are divisible by 2 across uh, the board so therefore we are ended up with uh, 8 r square minus 5 r equal to 0 and now we can see r is in common so therefore i can factor out r outside we got uh, 8 r minus 5 equal to 0 and now let's go ahead and separate we can get uh, reduce r either equal to 0 or 8 r minus 5 equal to 0 and if we take this one on the other side we got 8 r equals to 5 let's go ahead and divide both sides by 8 so therefore our radius uh, lowercase r turns out to be 5 divided by 8 and now we got two scenarios one is when r is 0 which is not uh, feasible so therefore we are going to reject this r equal to 0 value and we are going to accept this r equals to 5 divided by 8 and now let's make an observation we know that the side length uh, of the square a b c d is uh, 4 times uh, r and our lowercase r value turns out to be 5 uh, divided by 8 so therefore i'm going to replace uh, that value over here so therefore the side length uh, of this square turns out to be 4 times uh, 5 uh, divided by 8 and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 5 uh, divided by 2 so thus the side length uh, of this square turns out to be 5 divided by 2 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, square a b c d and now let's recall the area of a square formula once again area equal to s uh, square where s uh, is the side length of the square in our case it is uh, 5 divided by 2 so therefore the area of this uh, square a b c d is going to be 5 divided by 2 whole uh, square so this could be written as uh, 25 divided by 4 and that could be equal to 6.25 so thus the area of this square turns out to be 6.25 centimeter square and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye